Hey guys, so this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect this OLED screen to your Arduino. So before I do that, I want to give you guys an update of where I am with my project. Um, so I've started to get the hang of um, using the 3D modeling software on my PC and I've started to create my case. Uh, much neater and cleaner. Um, if you have a look here um, in front of me you can see that all the electronics fit nicely and the um, prism is will sit quite snug in, in the case. Um, I do have other parts that I need to connect once I'm done. Um, let's stop focusing. So if you have a look at that um, yeah, and then I've just got the final part of this to do, which is to add this end piece here to hold the ch battery, the charger and the switch. And then the unit will look quite nice. Um, unfortunately, my 3D printer um, broke in the process, um, got tangled with the um, spool and um, I've contacted M3D and they're going to sort that out, hopefully. Um, so I'm out without a 3D printer right now, so I can't really finish the case. Um, and also a lot of you guys have been wanting to see more tutorials of how to do things. So um, I'm going to show you how to actually, before you connect your prism, yeah, focus before you start connecting your prism, how to get your OLED screen working. So what you're going to need is, of course, an Arduino, uh, preferably, uh, it could be anything, it could be a new Arduino or a Nano, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to need an OLED screen, like so. Um, I'm using a 0.9 uh, inch screen and a few jumper leads. Okay, so that's what you need, pretty much. Um, so let's have a look at the screen first. Let's take everything away. Let's get it in focus. Okay, so the screen has four pins. You have VCC, which is for power, ground. Then you have v uh, SCL and SDA for data. So let's add those jumper cables to this. So VCC, red. Ground is black. Um, SCL is orange and lastly SDA is yellow so if you look at the Arduino I'm going to be using the Uno um, the SDA and SCL are usually A4 and A5 on the on the Uno also on the Nano um, but make sure you check the schematics of the microcontroller you're using. Um, so let's go ahead and connect that up. So red is power, so put that into 5 volt. Um, so you put that into 5 volt. And then ground is the black. So the orange is SCL, which goes into a 5, I think, and SDA goes into a 4, like so. Uh, let me just check those two are uh, uh, right way around. SDA and SCL. Yeah, and then what you do 
is you go online I'll have the link in the description and you go to this library called U8Glib uh, load the library into your uh, Arduino RDE IDE and then um, you need to comment a specific line out on there so there are a few different variances depending on which um, which um, screen you have but in my code I've commented out the line that you can see on the screen right now it's the uh, UHG lib underscore SSD 1306 underscore 128 by 64 UHG bracket UHG underscore I2C underscore OPT underscore no underscore ACK so that is what I've uncommented so depending on your um, OLED screen different ones might work um, this one definitely works with the one the generic one that I purchased from AliExpress um, and yeah once you've done that and you've um, compiled the code onto your Arduino then you just literally plug it in okay so let's grab the wire Alright, so once you've got the library onto your uh, IDE, Arduino IDE, you then really want to um, go to the example, the examples in UHG lib, uh, sorry, you go examples and UHG lib, and then pick the um, screen test, I think it's called. Uh, let me just check for you. It's called graphics test. So once you've done that, compile the graphics test after you've uncommented out that line into your Arduino microcontroller. And then you should get something that looks like this. So let me just focus the screen. There we go. So you'll have a graphics test on, onto your screen. Pretty neat. Um, you can. This is the library I'm using. Quite a good library. You can do quite a lot with it. Print text on the screen. Create some images. I say images, graphics. So I hope this helps. Um, and now you can connect your screen. Now you got your connection. You connect your screen to your, your Arduino. All you have to do is now create one of these prisms at a piece of acrylic and you pretty much have your Google Glasses main part done and then you just got to connect the rest up which hopefully I'll do some tutorials about very soon. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Cheers, bye.